Hi guys, hello, welcome. I'm doing something a little different today. Normally I've been recording Animal Crossing New Horizons gameplay as well as the Happy Home Paradise DLC and I've been having a ton of fun with that. Uh, sadly, two days ago, my video capture card stopped working. I can kind of, I can get the picture, but I can't get any game audio from the Switch. So, <laughs> um, I don't want to wait for making some more content for my channel because I've been having so much fun with it. So I thought, why not dive into a little Stardew Valley? I haven't played it, gosh, in a couple of months really and I've never done a like a completed farm a 100% playthrough I've only played through one one full year up to like maybe spring or summer of year two you know I've completed the community center once um, never gotten married never really wooed anybody in the game so I thought why not Let's have a little fun with some Stardew Valley. It's one of the best games out there. So I'm sticking with my name, Moxie. It's one of my favorite names to use in a game. Another name I have used, like when playing World of Warcraft, is I, I have a little uh, goblin and probably a gnome, both named Persnickety. They're just little alts that don't get played very often, but I love the name Persnickety. So we're going to be Moxie of Persnickety Farms. Uh, favorite thing. My new favorite thing in the world really is Shit's Creek. Actually, it's probably Dan Levy, who plays David Rose on Shit's Creek, but I thought it would be kind of creepy <laughs> to use him personally, so we used the show name. Um, I'm going to pick a doggy. Uh, under the settings, I'm going to keep the community center bundles as normal, and I'm going to try to guarantee your one comp completable. I also know that depends on me remembering to go to the traveling cart on Fridays and Sundays, and that doesn't always happen. I'm going to remix the mine rewards though for funsies, see what different things we get. Um, uh, I'm still now trying to decide. I think I'm going to go with the forest farm. I've never done it. I do like to fish in the game a lot, so I was thinking Riverland, but... Just because I'm, I like fishing doesn't mean I'm very good at it. <laughs> and I think with the forest farm, because I'll be able to get a lot of forageables, that might be kind of fun to try. I think I could probably get most of the mushrooms I need then for the community senator, but senator, center through the forest farm layout. And that way, maybe for the bat cave or for the cave on our farm, usually you you, you choose fruit bats or mushrooms. I almost always go mushrooms because they're so handy. But this time around, I'm going to go with the bats and see how I like it. So we'll pick Forest Farm, and I'm going to watch the intro because I haven't seen it since the first time I played many many months ago, if not longer. So I think we're set. I like my purpley pink hair, my little pinky top. <laughs> Let's see. Yeah, we got that. We got all that filled in. Yeah, that's the doggy I want. So let's go. Let's dive into some Stardew Valley. One of these days I'll get my husband to play it. He just can't get past the uh, pixelated art. Okay. And for my very special granddaughter. I can't remember if I have to hit enter or what. Yeah. I want you to have this sealed envelope. Okay. I'm hitting things. No, no. Don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. Whew, that's true. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. Getting a little bleak. When that happens, my dear, you'll be ready for this gift. I'm ready. Now, let Grandpa rest. 20 years later, I guess, 20 years later. Oh yes, Jojo, join us. I'm sorry, Joja, 
Join us. Thrive. <laughs> I love how, like, I don't know, just how large these computers are. Kind of reminds me when I first entered the working field. Look how little we are. <laughs> Life's better with Joja. Is it, though? I've been tempted to go the Joja route, but not this time. We're going to fix up the community center. Dear Moxie, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people in nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place, my pride and joy, Persnickety Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my dear. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? Yes, we will be sure to say hello to Lewis. Hmm. So when we have to return Mayor Lewis's shorts, should we return them or save them for something special? I don't know. Oops, my game paused for just a second. I had to check a setting, make sure. Hopefully the sound is, everything is okay. <laughs> I'm so used to doing my Animal Crossing stuff, so this is a little new. Aw, oh, the little birdie. Stardew Valley, half a mile. Oh, there's Robin. Hello, you must be Moxie. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you the way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. Ooh, it's a mess. I love how many trees we have. And if I recall, there's a lot of hardwood that I think regenerates, which will be handy. This is Persnickety Farm. <laughs> Uh-oh, I look a little worried. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. <laughs> and here we are, your new home. Hello, Mayor Lewis. Ah, the new farmer. Welcome, I'm Lewis, mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So, you're moving into your grandfather's old cottage. It's a good house, very rustic. Rustic, that's one way to put it. Crusty might be rude. Might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Thank you, Mayor Lewis. That was rude. Don't listen to her, Moxie. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades, right? Which I will. <laughs> hmm. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from your long or from the long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow, you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. <clears throat> oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this big, big box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. That's not creepy at all. <laughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Well, good luck. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Eager to get started. I don't even know what the interior of the forest house looks like. Okay, oh cute. Little leafy wallpaper and some like evergreen type trees. Let's light the fire. Uh, weather report. 
it's going to be a beautiful sunny day tomorrow. And I, I mean, it doesn't really matter what our luck is today. We're just clearing and planting. Ah, I sense that a new viewer has joined us, a young lady from Stardew Valley. Welcome, welcome. The spirits feel neutral today. The day is in your hands. Been living off the land. Another tip. Oh, for all of us greenhorns out there, chop wood and search for wild forage. Yeah, we gotta chop enough wood so that we can um, craft a storage box right away. <coughs> Pardon me. Still dealing with some allergy issues, which has me coughing the more I talk. So this was probably not a good plan for the day. Okay, here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis, and we'll open our quest. Getting started. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Oh, great people. By the way, I, I am only playing with one mod currently, which is the Automate mod. If none of you have ever used it, it's like the best quality of life mod out there. It, um, you, like if you put items in a chest, like any of the copper or other ore you get, and then put that chest next to a furnace, it automatically feeds the furnace from the chest. So it'll craft your copper and iron and gold bars and then put them right back in the chest and just keep that process going for you. So I could see though maybe using some of the other mods, like the one that lets you know where everybody is in town and stuff, but I'm going to just stick with that one for right now. So what was I going to do? I think there's some options. Yeah, show tool hit location. And I like to see the zoom buttons. There we go. Because that way when I'm in the mines, I like to zoom out as much as I can. Let's organize this <clears throat> a little bit more the way I'm used to it being. Okay. So let's get to clearing up this mess. I don't know where I'm going to end up putting <laughs> uh, my, most of my crops that I plant in the long run. I just know right now I want them as close to a water source as possible. And yes, don't yell at me for getting rid of all the grass. I know I need to keep it for my silo. <laughs> I just kind of, I think I want to... Oh, who am I kidding? I'm just going to do it right up here by the farm like I always do when I start a new save file. <clears throat> I thought I was going to be clever and do it closer to the water down there. But um, there's that big stump in the way that I won't be able to break up till we have a better axe. So, gosh, I haven't played this in so long. I have to remember kind of all the controls. And I'm sorry if I'm an aggressively loud mouse and keyboard clicker. <laughs> I don't mean to be. Sometimes I think I just need to go back to like a quieter keyboard. <laughs> and unless, I don't know. I don't know if they make quieter mice. Mice? Mouse? <laughs> Whatever this is, I need a quieter one. So I'll, I'll try to be conscious of that. Or maybe I shouldn't be. Just that's how I play. Um, 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 so yeah, we're just going to start... I usually do little plots of just three by three plots. It just kind of makes me happy. I don't know why, just visually, I like it. Makes watering easy when you get that first watering can upgrade. Of course, now I have more space. Hopefully we'll find some more mixed seeds to plant. And I'm kind of thinking maybe this time around it would be fun. Well, I don't know if it's fun because it involves the fishing in the game, but different. I, I'm sure other people have thought to do this. I never have where instead of focusing on getting as many crops in the ground to start, I'm going to spend my first couple of uh, days in game just fishing. Just go down in front of Willie's store when it is available to me tomorrow and just fish. <laughs> um, that way I can probably get enough money to get the fishing pole upgrade, which then would mean catching more fish, which then means hopefully... 
I would hope by day four or five, maybe I can afford the backpack upgrade. I haven't tried this, so I don't know how long it will take. Right now I just wanna get enough wood so I can get a chest built, and then we're gonna go try and introduce ourselves around to the town folks. Gosh, I, I've gotta remember everybody's schedule where they will be. At least it's a Monday, although Tuesday would make it easier. Can meet half the ladies at their <laughs> aerobics class. Um, so yeah, we'll just get how much. I think I need 50, I've got a little more than that. Ugh, move. <laughs> All the weeds in the way. Okay. Build a chest. Put you here. And just load it up with all of our... Oh, we've got two more seeds to plant. Let's do that. That worked out perfectly. And we'll fill our watering can so it's all ready for the morning. And I kind of want to see how much foraging I can do. So I'm going to keep these with me. I don't think I need my axe right now. I will probably regret it. Because <laughs> if I come up from the southern path to the farm, it might be a little overgrown. And oh, there we go. We've got our first couple of forageables. So I'll be sure to save for the community center. I'm going to try to keep an eye out for wormies. <laughs> Sometimes I've started playing my games with reading glasses on and I'm not wearing them right now so I think I'm okay. I also, I don't know, I think I have everything big enough so I don't need them. Hello Harvey! So who should we woo? <laughs> who do we want to date on this playthrough? I have absolutely no idea. There goes... Okay, I'll get her later. <laughs> uh, is it Penny? And here's Caroline. Or Emily, sorry. I always confuse them. Oh, I can read it on your face. You're going to love it here in Pelican Town. I did start to kind of woo Emily a bit because um, I like that she comes with a parrot. <laughs> Okay, we'll stop by and see her at the saloon. That's where she works. Who's home at Jody's house? Okay, Jody and Vincent. Oh, I just sat on down. Hi, Vincent. Oh, a stranger. My name's Vincent. Mama says not to talk to strangers, but you seem okay. Thanks, Vincent. Oh, you aren't exactly how I imagined, but that's okay. I'm Jody. Um, let's go find little Jazz. Oh, I forgot to check garbage cans. Excuse me, Marnie. <laughs> She's in a hurry to get home and stand in front of her microwave. Uh, I think little Jazz is usually up here jumping rope. And, yep, there she is. Hi, hey, Jazz. <laughs> dot, dot, dot. Hi. <laughs> Anything else? One, two, three, four. Oh no, I messed up again. Sorry, I made you mess up. Okay, let's head back into town. And see who all else is out there. No, I keep forgetting to look for worms and forageables. God, this is such a great game though. Just even just hearing the music again just makes me so happy. I even have one of the songs as my ringtone. I think it's the springtime music. Why, hello and welcome to our little community, dear. Hi, Evelyn. You can call me Granny if you like. Thank you, Granny, Evelyn. Here we go. Hello, you must be Moxie, the new farmer. I'm Caroline. Hi, Caroline. My husband runs the general store, and have you met my daughter, Abigail? She's the pale one with the purple hair, and she likes to eat rocks. <laughs> it's a quiet little town, so it's very exciting when some... Oh, yeah, I've already talked to Jody. Sorry. <laughs> um, 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 let's go in the store, see who's there. Mayor Lewis's birthday yeah, is on Sunday. Maybe we'll save him a parsnip? I think we'll have some in time. Here's Leah. Oh, she might be interesting. She kind of goes with the forest theme. Maybe we should woo her. 
Hello, it's nice to meet you. Hi, Pierre. Hey, it's Miss Moxie, the new farmer. I'm Pierre, owner of the local store. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Sorry, I was clicking it faster than I could read it. I don't think Abigail's at home right now. I don't want to go check their kitchen. I do want to make friends with Caroline quickly and get access to the tea tree thing that she gives us or something like that. Hi, Maru. I'm Maru. I've been looking forward to meeting you. It's nice to meet you, too. We'll just try and get as many people met today as we can. I might not be able to do all of them, and that's all right. Hmm. It's irritating to have to meet all these new people, huh? Hi, George. Name's George, by the way. Now, buzz off. I like your style, George. Maybe we can befriend George. I haven't done that before. I don't want to go into the bar yet. I think Sam and... Uh... Hi, Penny. Oh, hello. I'm Penny. Sam and Shane work at the Joja Mart, I believe. <clears throat> and... Uh, Pam, that's her name. Can sometimes be found shopping there, I think. I'm Elliot. I live in the little cabin by the beach. It's a pleasure to meet you. I don't think I want to woo Elliot. I just, I just, I just, no thank you. <laughs> oh, I just looked at my energy. So low already. But, it, oh, what time? Oh my gosh, it's 4 p.m. already. We just missed him. We'll head to the saloon in a little bit, see if he's there. Oh, here's Abigail. There's Pam. Oh, that's right. I heard someone new was moving on to that old farm. Hi, Pam. We're going to be good friends. Hey, kid. The name's Pam. I'll be sure to buy you lots of beer. Hey, I'm Sam. Good to meet you. Is Shane still in here working? I know I can meet him at the bar later. Oh, yep. There he is. The noise they make when they walk cracks me up. Shane's hard at work. He doesn't seem interested in talking. Does that count as having met him, though? I wonder. Never looked that up. <coughs> Pardon me again. I'm trying so hard not to cough. Um, yep, we've met him. So now we just have to meet... Oh, yeah, I haven't met him yet. That's funny. And I know we meet him at the bar. Gus at the bar. We gotta go to see Willie. I think Sebastian comes out to smoke in about two hours. <laughs> Maybe we'll head up that way first, meet Willie and them, and then head down to the pub and then just go home. Not seeing any horseradish or dandelions yet. Here's Demetrius. Greetings, I'm Demetrius, local scientist and father. Thanks for introducing yourself. Hello. Okay, as I walk into a bush. And here's our friend, um, Linus. Yes, sorry, Linus, I might have called you Willie earlier. A stranger, hello. How you doing, Linus? Don't mind me, I just live out here all alone. Okay, Linus. So let's see if Sebastian's coming up from the basement yet. I could go talk to Robin again, but she was rude. Called our farm crusty. Let's see if he's in the kitchen. No, he's still down in his basement. Should we just stand there like a creepy stalker and watch him work? Hey, Sebastian. I haven't really gotten too very far in his storyline either. I did get a little bit far with Shane, and I, I even thought about marrying him in one of my playthroughs. The problem, though, is like he goes through this growth, and he's kind of changing and improving his life, and then, whoops, next thing you know, he you marry him, and he moves into your house, and it's, they've got beer cans and puddles all over the floor, from what I've seen. So I didn't. I'm, I, that's a little disappointing. Oh, you just moved in, right? Cool. Out of all the places you could live, you chose Pelican Town? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, free farm. Why wouldn't I? Um, maybe we'll just woo a whole bunch of people and get everybody's 
hearts as full as we can before deciding to pledge our love to someone. <laughs> it's like, I enjoy being married in real life, but do I, do I need to put myself through that in a game I play? I don't know. How have I not found um, the jock guy yet? That's kind of weird. Well, let's go meet Gus. Clint isn't here either. I thought he'd be here. Hi, Gus. See if anybody... Oh, and we haven't met um, Haley? That's her name, Haley. So it's probably getting a little too late for that. How many people have I met? 24. I've done better. I've actually met like 27. I can't meet Willie till tomorrow. But I, I have met, I think, 27 in the first day before. Today, not that day. Oh, here we go, though. Hi, Clint. Er, hi, I'm Clint. Yeah, I think now everybody's house is going to be closed. Okay, we're going to just go home. I already checked it. Go home. Go to bed. We can sell one of our daffodils. I know they make some good gifts, too. I think um, Evelyn likes them. I think a lot of people do. But I might be stingy with my gifts to start. We'll see. I want to sell one. got to sell at least one thing tonight. I could chop a few more trees or rocks. But I think we're just going to do this for now. Get ready for the morning. We're just going to water and then we're going to go learn to fish. <laughs> um, I don't know if you guys want to watch my struggle bus <laughs> of learning how to fish. I know the training rod makes it a little easier, but I may pause the recording here and there while I'm fishing. <laughs> because I don't know that I can really chat very much. I have to concentrate so hard while I'm doing it. And I, I'm kind of a loud clicker with the mouse. I should probably play with my controller, which would be a lot quieter, but I feel like I fish better with my mouse and keyboard. So we'll see. Okay, what kind of luck today? Very happy today. Great, so maybe we'll get some fishies. Is it gonna rain soon? It's gonna rain all day tomorrow, perfect. So see, we'll fish all day today and tomorrow and then see what we can afford. I really want to get, I forget what the uh, first fishing rod is before the iridium. It's not steel, what is it? Oh, that's gonna drive me nuts, but I won't have too long to wait. Oh my gosh, can you guys hear Scarlet? My cat Scarlet is snoring on the sofa behind me. She's getting so loud. I had to look at the clock. It's kind of cloudy outside and um, I'm gonna keep you a little dark in here. So I was afraid for a second it was late in the day or something. It's barely going on noon. <laughs> okay, hello there. Just got back from a fishing trip. You should come down to the beach sometime. I've got something for ya, Willie. Okay, Willie. Let's head on down there. I should probably try and meet the people I haven't met yet. Haley and... Oh my god, I can't remember the little jock guy's name. <laughs> it's not Sam, that's the blonde haired guy. brain no worky right now oh broken CD I probably shouldn't go foraging when I want to keep my bags as empty as possible but that's also another handy thing here is if you fish in front of the shop you can just sell what you've caught oh Scarlet she's coughing she has allergies like me too ahoy there miss heard there was a newcomer in town good to finally meet ya Ah, I'm still trying to unwind from a month out on the salty seas. It was a big haul. I sold a lot of good fish. Finally saved enough to buy me a new rod. <laughs> Here, I want you to have my old fishing rod. Well, thank you, Willie. It's important to me that the art of fishing stays alive and hey, maybe you'll buy something from the shop once in a while. Yeah, I'll probably buy some bait. 
So yeah, I'm going to do a little fishing with just the regular bamboo pole here. See how it goes. There's good water here in the valley. All kinds of fish. Oh yeah, my shop's back open now, so come by if you need supplies. I'll also buy anything you catch. <laughs> this always cracks me up. If it smells, it sells. <laughs> That's what me old pappy used to say anyway. Okay, Willie. Thank you for giving me your rod. <laughs> oh, God. So let's see how bad this is. I haven't done it in so long. Okay. Well, let's not embarrass ourselves in front of Willie. I may need that training rod. <laughs> Oh, see, I'm self-conscious about the noise my mouse makes when I'm clicking. I'm going to have to just get over that. <laughs> Gaming makes noise. It's okay. Woohoo! We caught an anchovy. I love the sound of the ocean. And the seagulls. You're fishy. Fishy, fishy. Uh, might need that training rod. But you don't get, you only get certain fish with the training rod, whereas, oh Jesus, you can get more of a variety with the regular bamboo pole, I think. Oh, he tricked me. <laughs> oh, gee. <laughs> I'm so bad. Oh, gosh. Come on, fish, be nice to me. You're only my second fish. Don't do me like this. <laughs> God, I suck so bad. <laughs> oh, I got him. Hey, I got a halibut. <clears throat> I can't remember if that's needed for the community center or not. So I'm going to pause my recording right here so you guys don't have to suffer through watching <laughs> me struggle through what will probably be way too long a period of time to catch a bunch of fish. But I am going to spend this whole day just fishing for a bit. I'll un unpause it if anything exciting happens. Um, and uh, yeah, be right back. Okay, we're back. Um, I just filled up my bag. I've been fishing. It's only been a few minutes. Um, but it's been several hours of in-game time. So we're going to sell. I did get a treasure chest, so I got some coal from that. And some mixed seeds. I tossed the mixed seeds. Um, we've got an anchovy, the halibut, sardine, flounder, some seaweed. Yeah, more a herring. I, I'm tempted to keep the flounder and the halibut. I don't think the halibut is needed for the community center, but the flounder might be. I'm just going to hold on to both of those unless I, you know, unless I get more. <clears throat> just to be safe. Oh, yeah, the training rod, but we're not going to get that yet, so gonna sell you sell you because these are all easy to get back so hoo -hoo, 787 gold so it's starting to get a little bit easier because my uh, fishing bar is getting a little bit longer I need 14 or 1500 gold for the next fishing rod and I think level 2 fishing should be able to hit I don't know if I'll hit it today, but maybe by tomorrow morning in game. Hmm. I was hoping by today, but the time is going by quickly. Here, fishy, fishy. Fishies. Just wanted to get a few more. <laughs> They're not biting. Oh, I miss having bait. Let's see what you are. Oh, you know what? I'm not going to go for the chest. It's more important to get perfect. I think you get more XP, if I recall. And does anybody know? I, I've heard before that you actually get more money if you sell through your shipping bin than if you do directly to Willy. Is that true? I keep reading to look that up to see if that's true or not. I would think it would be the same or even more because you're cutting out the middleman and selling directly to him. But 
I don't know. Hey, another flounder. We can sell one. We'll sell our silver one. It'll be worth more. Come on, fishies. I should go look for some bubbles so I don't have to wait so long between casts. Or bites. Oh, you were a nice fish. Thank you. An anchovy. Ooh, gold star. <laughs> not bad, not bad. It's getting a little easier. The bar is getting just a little bit bigger. A little bit. Ooh. <laughs> My suckage is still the same, though. <laughs> Jeez. Stay. Stay. No. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, not perfect, but okay. Hey, another flounder. Let's see. His shop, I think, closes at five. Be a good fishy. Good fishy. No fishy. Eesh. I'm trying to just do little clickies. Hey, sardine. <clears throat> Can always eat the seaweed if I need to for more energy, but at this rate, because they're so slow and biting, I should be fine. After here, we'll go by the saloon, see if we can meet Haley and anybody else we haven't met yet. It's not many. Why can't I remember dude's name? It's not like Crit. What is his name? There's Sam, Shane, Sebastian. I know he's the little jock football player. Alex! We haven't met Alex yet. That's his name. Alright, let's go in and sell just so I don't lose track of time and forget. We're going to sell you and you. We'll sell you. We're going to keep one of you. Sell both of those. So hey, we're up to 1100 gold. Not bad. Anything else we catch, we'll probably just sell in our bin. Oh, so I, should, I forgot to look up. I always forget to look up what like specialty fish there are for like nighttime and rainy weather per season. Um, like... I feel like, is it not squid? Um, op, not octopus. One of those type of thingies. Oh, eels. I think maybe eels at night in the springtime at the ocean. So maybe I should stay here. But I think it's going to be, oh, I'm sorry, Willie. I forgot this is his spot. I will move. I will move. Don't jinx me, Willie. Just let me get this one fish. <laughs> It's not cooperating with me. But yeah, I think we can maybe get an eel. But like I said, I might need a better skill. For, I'm, I'm moving. I'm moving, dude. Don't fish through me. That's creepy. So yeah, let's stay down here just a little bit longer. Then hit up the saloon. That's the plan. Okay. Oh, I'm just not even going for that treasure chest. It is so tempting, but I know being greedy <laughs> will not serve me well <laughs> when it comes to beginning fishing. <laughs> <sighs> so it's going to be raining in game tomorrow, so I need to look up what fish you can get in the springtime when it's raining. I don't know if there are any special ocean fish. I'm pretty sure there is for the river or the lake. So I'll have to look that up. I'll do that when I'm done recording. I think we're just going to play through uh, the second day here. And then I will end the recording there. And we'll pick it up. I'm really not sure how long they're... Or short to make these videos. I'm thinking f for most of them, three days should be pretty good. If I, I, I'd like to squeeze in three days, but I guess it depends on what I'm doing and how long. <laughs> 
each day goes, although I mean it's a certain set amount of time. It's not like I can slow it down. But just fishing seems to make the day go by a little bit slower. Woo! <laughs> he got away from me fast. Okay, buddy, just hang out down there. No, no, no. <laughs> no. Oh, be a good fishy. No. Mm. <laughs> Hey, I should have known it was another flounder. Okay, ooh, getting low on energy. It's getting dark. The one downside of fishing too is you don't get all the really good music. Come on, be a good fish. Nice, let's do one more. If I, I know my bag's full, but I can get rid of that broken CD. So let's just do one more and then we'll head to the saloon. gonna keep my seaweed I'll sell one but keep it because I, th I think it counts towards like shipping like one of every item or whatever but I think we also use it for cooking oh, I want one more fish come on one more make it a good one so I'm gonna keep it for either eating or cooking is it used for the fish ponds I can't remember if you need it for constructing those I've only ever done one or two Well, you're not going to be an eel or anything tricky. I was hoping to get something special. Hey, gold star, though. Okay. Well, I guess that is all we will do for the fishing. Oh, I'm... oh yeah, I got to come get these shelf. Oh, and of course, there's wormies, and I have no bag space. I know I could have gone for a bag upgrade first, but, well, I think that's 2,000. I don't really remember. But I definitely, I think I want to invest in the fishing pole. Um, and then spend most of day three fishing. Okay, who, is anybody here? Ah, nobody's here. <laughs> well, fine. We'll just talk to those of you who are. Oh, you're so friendly, Shane. You're such a delight. <laughs> hey, Pam. I wish I could get you a beer, but I don't have inventory space. Hey, Gus, give me another round. Hick. <laughs> Hi, Gus. Please relax and enjoy yourself. He's so friendly. Why isn't he dateable? I would totally date Gus. I work part-time at Gus's saloon. It pays the bills. Cool. Let's say hi to Clint. Too bad we can't get friendly enough to get some discounts on our tool upgrades. If you want me to upgrade your tools, you have to give me the correct door. I know. I was just saying, I wish I could get a discount from you. Oh, well. That's fine. Let's head on home. I should have sold a few more fishies before Willie's shop closed so I could have picked up those shellfish. But that's okay. Those are easy to come by. Um, let's sell... I'm going to sell just one of those. I'm going to sell all these because these are easy to catch. I don't need to worry about keeping gold star stuff for the grange or anything quite yet. So I think this was a good start. We'll see how much money we made with our fishing. And let's see. In the morning, I think it's just going to be fishing again when I log in. We'll just, oh, and it's going to be raining, so I don't even need that. Just need those two items. I just, I like to get prepared the night before. <laughs> okay. Let's go get into bed, and let's see what we've made. Oh, good. A level one fishing. That's right. I was thinking level two. We start at zero and earn our way to one. I always forget. <laughs> oh, but we did hit level two. Great. That means we can buy also the next fishing rod. Let's 
see, we made eh, 337 from our fishies. 357 total. So we're getting there. Getting there. I think one more day of fishing, which I know might not be the most exciting gameplay to watch. <laughs> but it's what I will do. So I'm going to end this here. And in the next video, guess what? More fishing. Probably for all of day three and part of four. <laughs> but that'll set us up, I think, for a really good start. We'll be able to afford the bag. So we'll have that maybe the first time we go into the mine. So we don't have to struggle with what to keep, <laughs> throw away when we're in there. So thank you so much for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed this. I love this game so much. So I think I'm going to have a lot of fun. Uh, making a lot more of these to go alongside my Animal Crossing videos. Take care.